JHK here for my MMA news, and I am joined by UFC heavyweight Jorgen De Castro. Jorgen, it's good to see your face again. How is the new year treating you? Nice, 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 nice to have, nice to have me, bro. All right, for sure. Now, um, let's talk about the last fight, man. I heard leading into the Carlos Felipe fight that you had an injury. It was pretty serious. How serious was it, and how did it affect your movement and performance in the octagon? Yeah, I had a disc budge in in my back. I mean, I mean, UFC knew it about it, but they. They asked me if I want to fight. I mean, I, I was, I mean, I was, I took like five weeks off. I think from that fight, I was just doing light running. I was doing pad work. I couldn't wrestle. I couldn't do nothing. And and clearly, I show up after 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 second round. I think I had nothing gas there because mm-hmm. I'm not a wrestling and I keep trying to hold him in the cage. Uh, and I'm not taking that against him. He, he he fought beautiful. He he put in a good good performance, good box. But uh, yeah, I had a. But right now I'm I'm really good. So I'm feeling good. This has been the hardest, longest fight camp of my life, and I'm I'm feeling good. Five weeks leading into a fight with not much training that that has to do, you know, like mentally, does it affect you? I think so. I I didn't saw in the moment, man. I thought mm. I was good. I felt good in the fight day. I the fight week I was feeling good. I was confident. But it clearly, I mean, I I felt it, man. After I believe after the first round I wasn't there already. I mean, I I knew that I had no gas tank. I wasn't able to push hard because there's no more what I pick. I pick in the like two weeks prior to the fight, so it was a weird fight camp. But I thought I had the fight. I thought he was a striker. I say I'm, I'm probably better, and uh, I learned the hard way. But well, that's what makes you a fighter, and and me <laughs> me a reporter. You know, that's what separates <laughs> us. <laughs> Because yeah. me, if I had a, a you know a lower back you know injury or something like that, I probably not. I probably wouldn't do anything. You know what I mean? But you <laughs> mentally going into a fight, you have the confidence and and you went in there and and took the risk. You know what I mean? Like you have to yeah. get paid too at the same time. Yeah, that's, you know that's another thing. I mean, you put another two months in uh, in training. You don't want to really back. I don't know how the other guys do it, but I I never. Really, I don't want to pull off the fight, man. I want to I want to fight. I mean. And like you say, we gotta get paid. We we have bills to pay, so I'm, I wanna. But maybe I'm lonely, man. If I, if I'm not 100, percent I maybe not fighting. And I don't know. This is this is a hard decision to make. But as a fighter, as a man, you always want to show up and fight. If you sign a contract, you gotta. Yeah, and also you're transparent with the UFC. You know, like the yes. UFC knew everything that was going on, which is great for them. You know what I mean? Yeah. And for you. So when you head into yeah. later fights. You know, they know that you're not going to lie about anything, you know? No, yeah, I know. I, I went to the doctor over there in Vegas. The doctor knew about it. He even asked me, he said, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to let you fight or not. I, I told him, you know, I'm feeling good. I mean, I'm going to take a couple of weeks off and I may be able to fight. So that was uh, my decision. Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Do you feel like fans, you know, they, they forget that you're still young in your career and that affects their reaction to your fights? Dude, dude, this is crazy. People always look for you for the last fucking mm-hmm. performance. And my last performance was shitty. I broke my foot again, Dragadi. I lost the last fight. I mean, uh, people always going to know, say, oh, that guy sucks. I mean, like you say, I'm only doing this for two years. Mm-hmm. I started my career in, in 2000, uh, November 2017, mm-hmm. and I got signed by UFC in June of 2019. I'm still learning in the high level. Mm-hmm. I'm learning at the job. <laughs> Yeah, but people people don't give a damn. If you lose, I mean, you yeah. suck. Cut that guy. They don't care. Yeah. MMA fans is rough. Yeah, definitely rough. And, yeah, it's just <laughs> you got to have thick skin. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that, too. When <laughs> I start to answer, like, they will message me. And I will answer back. I say, I'm going to meet you. I'm going to do this and that. People, thank God I have good people with me, my mm-hmm. wife, my, my coaches, my manager. They do, you got to let it go. You can't you can get caught out in those MMA strolls and, and, and stuff. But I get very emotional, especially after the fight. I want to answer every comment that people comment on my stuff. Mm-hmm. It was like it gave me like under my nerves. But then, uh, you know what? I can I can control. I can I can I can control everything. When I'm focused on what I can do, mm-hmm. is working hard and focus on my next one. Has anybody ever challenged you to a fight, like in the gym or something? No, do I wish? I wish. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, no, I'm, I'm I'm nice. Dude, I'm a nice guy, but if you yeah. step off, if you step off the line, yeah. man, I don't care, man. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, but I got people that would text, oh, you want me uh, two grand? You want me this much? Because uh-huh. you fight like this, like that. Mm-hmm. I always send them to you. I will send them the address. I will send you that. Meet me in the gym. I will pay you your two grand. Yeah. But nobody ever show up. <laughs> it's like it's like Habib send me location. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I keep, yeah, but but I'm not doing that anymore, man. It's yeah. not work. People yeah. will. Be on the couch and talking shit, and they don't know what you went through. 
and uh it's just it's just gonna keep living my life man it's, this is hard yeah for sure man I, th I feel like you become stronger from from those experiences now going back to fight island you know i've talked to many fighters and they like the idea of fight island but when they fly over there and spend some time over there and then they have to fight in the morning like early morning too it's it's a bad it's yeah. not a best like, si yeah, situation right i don't like that at all yeah i fought 7 30 in the morning mm -hmm. and it was like 105 degree because <laughs> we fought like in the dude that was i'm telling you that i think there's a fact too with the card because then we fought in the tent in the tent outside it's not like it's an arena so you got it all hot mm -hmm. And you fight in the morning, and then the sleep was all messed up because I keep I couldn't sleep eight hours. I was sleeping like four hours, then wake up, eat a little bit, and watch some movie, and sleep another four hours. The time is like I think it's like twelve hour ahead of here, so yeah, it's what, it was all messed up. I I don't know, man. I didn't like the experience that. I mean, you got everything. Is that like a great hotel? They treat us good. You got everything, but I I like I I don't I don't like that fucking experience, man. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't no, well, good for me. This time you're in Vegas, so it's all good. This this time is beautiful. I'm gonna yeah. fly on Tuesday and then come back on on Sunday. For sure. Now you know you had the injury. When you get back home, you know, did you go immediately into rehab or did you take? Did you have any kind of surgery or anything? I was supposed to take some cortisone shot, mm -hmm. but I didn't like the idea too because I'm not really a fan of of shots and 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 any like uh, what do you call? I mean anything that any like I don't like shots and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I. I told them I will take time off. Then, if that if it doesn't heal, I will I will see what I'm doing. But unfortunately, I got COVID right away. I get uh, back here in October. I got COVID in November. Mm -hmm. Then I took another two months, a month off, mm -hmm. two months. And then I went to Portugal, which was good for me because I, I met my old coach. Uh, a lot of kids who look up to me, like so. I, I had my motivator back. I I thought that. Uh, I mean, you you never know. What you really do in life till you really like met the people. There's, I went to Portugal. Like, people love me down there. They all say that they will wake up at 4 a.m. to watch me fight. I will get people stop me like in the restaurants, in the malls, and say, "Dude, we don't really like him, mate. We never know about UFC, but the fact that you carry the flag, we, me and all my family, were always watching you. So that gave me the right. Like I was super motivated, man. I, I came back like with a different mindset. Yeah, it must have been extremely emotional, and, and and your family must be very proud of you too. Because when you go back yeah. and back home and you tell your family like what you experienced, they're probably like, yeah. "Man, you're making a huge impact in your country." Yeah, and, you, and I don't really, I didn't really know, man. I, I, I you never know that because I'm here doing my life. I'm, I don't really check everything is going on, but I really, I was really impressed with everything going on, and not just like their kids, they believe that it, the fact that I made it, they can do it too. I was kids like walking. I'm talking about 40 miles from their house to the gym, walking Dang. to train because they see a, me over there and they think they can do it too. So it was that was very like emotional for me. Yeah. And and they keep saying the same thing. They keep saying, "Dude, we don't care if you get knocked out or not. When you go there, just fight your fight. We all we all we always going to be proud of you." Yeah, man. Now you have all that energy from everybody. I got it. You know, I it. It, it, yeah, April tenth, you got your next fight coming up, Jarji's Danho. You know, when you found, when did you find out about this fight? Because it seems like you've had some time. Yeah, this is as I say, this has been the longest, longest fight camp. I, I, I think I had it in December. They, they told me Christmas time. I think so. uh, my manager called me, uh, say, did you want to fight in Abu Dhabi, January twenty? I say, do. I just had COVID. I'm in vacation. Uh, I mean, I'm a food guy. I like to eat, so I'm definitely out of shape. <laughs> he said, so when you want to fight, they told him April 10th. I say, March, April. He said, okay, we got April 10th. And they give me that. Down your name? I don't know. I searched him. His last fight was, I think, September 2016. Mm -hmm. So I don't really know how. I mean, sometimes people take time off and come back stronger and better. And, and I don't even know what to expect. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely true. But I'm pretty sure your coaches, you know, they go back, they look at him, they break him down somewhat. What have you guys found out about him? We we found that he liked the wrestling, um, um, uh, uh, a solid wrestling, Olympic wrestling, like those, like the body logs and stuff. And, and he can throw some heavy hands too. Uh, but that's it. But we, but we focus and be a better fighter overall. We had time, we had three months. So, uh, grappling a lot, uh, wrestling a lot. And overall, we, we focus on and become better fighter. I see that you know you've pretty much done your whole training camp at Regiment. 
at Regiment Training Center? Yeah. Is that is yeah. that what you did? Did you yeah, didn't go yeah, out to yeah. Vegas anytime? No, this time I this time I focused and we got everything together. You know, my my coach is planning everything up. We had a map of my schedule camp that that I have to meet before we even like to be ready to fight. I have I do I'm this has been like I'm telling like I'm training three times a day. If I like my day today was uh wake up in the morning, I had a jujitsu, then I have box. Then right now at six o'clock I went to wrestling and it is forty five minutes per work. It's like every single day. I'm doing two, three sessions a day. And they bring it in like guys to spar on the Sunday, like four or five different guys. We we put in the extremely hard camp for me. And my body is sore every day. I'm tired. I can't wait to fight them. This is like this has been miserable for me. Yeah, usually it's difficult to find heavyweights to train with, but I've seen some pictures of you. You got like ten heavyweights in there with you. Dude, I got some massive guys. They make me look like they make, you know, I have guys that are like three twenty and they yeah. know what they do and like purple belts and like uh uh good wrestling guys like uh, all American wrestling. I have like guys who fight Muay Thai and Lion fights, I have guys from Glory. I got some good guys, like it's been it's been hard for me and, and the, the sparring day is like each each round I go with a one different guy, so you know how I mean, I'm really, I'm really getting my ass kicked almost every day. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned the the schedule, you know, and and like training three times a day. You know, what other changes have you made to this camp? We we focus on like that. When that's the thing, I went to vacation. That's another thing. Man. Fighters, we should take a vacation. Mm-hmm. I went to vacation to Portugal. I came back at two eighty eight, January fifth. So that's I'm for my frame. I'm I'm six foot tall. I'm, I should be two eighty eight. So we. We, we we target a goal every week, losing weight. I'm already 260 right now, and I still have three weeks to go. So the goal is be 255. So we 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 straight up the diet, and 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 the training camp. That's diet. That's, that's, the key. that's another problem. Yeah, because I I eat a lot, but this is this is another hard part. And then I get in that fight mode because I can't eat. So now I'm mad with everything. Yeah. Well, now it's even better because you're mad, but you have that energy from from the people from your home country too, and it's just yeah, like yeah. <laughs> it's it's a mixed emotion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you know the people see you, your record. You know, you you knocked off six in a row. Now you're on back to back losses. They're thinking like your back is against the wall. What is your mindset heading into the fight? Absolutely, man. I have to. I mean, I'm a realistic guy, man. This is this is a do or die for me. Even though people don't don't believe that I, that I, that if I lose I'm gonna get cut, but I I don't think so. I mean, UFC treat me good; they like me. But in the end of the day, I have to win fights. If you're not winning, you you you're gonna find they're gonna they're gonna have to cut you. So I feel like I'm a bad man. This is a do or die. Uh, people keep telling me that I'm just gonna have fun and do my thing. In the end of the day, it's a job. But to me, this is I'm back to contender series mindset. Dude. This I'm gonna fight for another contract right now. Yeah, so what can we expect? You know, are we gonna see the the contender series Jorgen De Castro performance? Because that was incredible. That's exactly what I'm planning to do, man. I'm I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna put on him. I'm gonna defend takedowns. And if he come to fight, I'm gonna fight. There's another thing I don't really want to talk much because I've been yeah. talking a lot. I've been got a lot of opportunity. I, I fought a common event last time. I have I fought two UFC two forty nine. I feel like I have I missed a lot of opportunity that UFC give it to me. I feel like I want UFC a good fight, and I'm 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 gonna let it go. All right, man. April 10th, UFC on ABC two, Las Vegas. Thank you, Jorgen, for the time, man, and uh, enjoy that fight, man. And I hope you get back in the win column and and get another co-main event and then a main event. You know, work yourself up. Thank you, my bro. I appreciate. It. Pleasure to talk with you.